There's one thing you mentioned about agriculture. Yeah. Now, I just want to know what exactly you do about agriculture. Uh, I look at agriculture as also uh, the one activity which can create a lot of jobs. Frankly, mining uh, does not create jobs. Mm. You told me that you employ up to 70,000 people to build uh, that, uh, that refinery and <coughs> yeah. stuff. I think there is a port need to be built and there is power. So many infrastructure. Things. But these are not operational employment. This will be employed during the construction. During the construction. But when you operate. But you develop a lot of skills. Yes, but when you operate, there will be only a couple of thousand or three thousand, something like that. Yes, but you know the uh, indirect employment is there also. F fine. Yeah. But, but agriculture, agriculture, agriculture generates a huge amount of jobs. Much, much more. That's why I'm interested in agriculture. Tell me, what exactly are you doing in agriculture? Thank you, Mo. Well, what we are doing in agriculture, we are building uh, one million tons rice, uh, you know, per boiling and processing with power generation, you know, also attached to uh, them. And with this, uh, what we are doing is that we are giving the farmers, you know, seeds, apart from seeds with implements, and then, you know, when they finish the harvest, we buy the, this, but they have, uh, <clears throat> they have a choice also so that we don't really hold them to ransom. They have a choice of selling to anybody who will offer so more. So we gave them the seeds and the we give them the seeds, and the that. implements. If they need any additional money, we have a backup by our central bank to lend them money, you know, as a To group. enable them to, to do To enable that. them, yes. You know, because in those areas, it is very difficult for them to go and mortgage their houses and borrow money. Monetize. You know, so, yeah, you yeah. Know, so they can easily borrow money under soft terms. Somebody is not going to ask you to bring your grandmother's certificate of birth, which you normally don't have. Okay, and uh, but those people, when they finish, they sell you the rice, and you are committed to be competitive. Well, committed. It's not because competitive. I lend you money; you must give it to me cheap. No, 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 no. What we have agreed with them is that if my price is not right, they should give to somebody, but they should come back and pay me my. Money. You pay your debt, of course. Yes. That's the debt so itself. that's what we have. But you yeah. see, you can imagine how many jobs we are going to create. How many people are going to work on this? <clears throat> Both that one and the sugar in the next uh, four years were actually creating about 150,000 jobs. 150,000 jobs. jobs, yes. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, this one area where. But Africa you can see the impact. We are not going to create that much jobs in the refinery, which is 12 billion. Yeah. But this one is just less than 2 billion, but you can see the amount of jobs. Great. And uh, yes, if, you really, if we really in Africa want to create jobs, prosperity, and also, okay, somebody was telling me that, yes, you know, there's a great GDP growth uh, uh, here uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, but it's not trickling down. Just like us, also in Nigeria, when you look at it, even when we're having 7, 8% of GDP growth, uh, down there, they hardly see anything. The trickle through is not it, happening. It, it, is, it is trickling, but slowly. Not, not serious. Not uh, serious. Yeah. So the only way to have these things to trickle fast enough is through agriculture. Where now, and that's why we have a greater advantage. I mean, you look at, you have a ready market, which is the difficulty of a lot of yeah. continents. But we have a market because the African continent imports more goods than any other continent. So what we need to do is to make sure that we transform our own goods. And it is very, very important more. Let me give you an example. Today, between Ghana and uh, Cote d'Ivoire, they actually produce two-thirds of the world's cocoa. Yeah. OK? But the total amount of this export that they have is about $6 billion. OK? But the chocolate market is $100 billion. Yeah. Yes. So you can see that you know they are just working, working for other people. Yeah. Right. I mean uh, that's uh, very interesting. Uh, let us let us <coughs> move also to although the point agriculture, I hope it registered, and that's a very important area because uh, the bro bro first we are not really using all the lands we have. We have huge amount of arable land which has not been used. 60% of the right. world's arable land. And we are not, we are not using that. Then even the land we are using, we have the lowest productivity in the world. Mm. And there is a huge upside there if oh, yes. we improve that uh, you know, productivity. So this is an area 
we will need to look at uh, very carefully. We've changed that though, Mo, before you go on to your yeah. next DC. You know, the uh, rice before in Nigeria, we used to do only one uh, crop per annum. Now we do two crops, and they used to get about one to two tons per hectare. Now we have varieties that we imported that are giving us up to eight tons per hectare. So once you have this, you know, it will help Modern the farmers. Techniques it will help a lot of people to now realize that, look, farming is not a uh, poor man's business. It can actually get rich faster in farming than doing something else. I mean, you look at it, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, today we also have fertilizer, which we used to import a lot. Okay, this fertilizer, we have laboratories that will go and test your soil and give you what kind of fertilizer that you need. Whereas right now, as of today, people use the same fertilizer, fertilizer for soil. maize, for rice, for sugar, you know, so they don't actually differentiate, including the type of soil that you have. So and this, the, is this the issue of best, best practice, why don't you produce a case study or something useful? You've been through that, and let us, other African country, appreciate how to do it. Because we need to replicate what you have done there in other countries as well. Or you plan to do it all by yourself? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so you're <laughs> going to allow us that way. So you why don't you really let people know, here is how to do it. And well, you know, uh, Mo, that is one of the reasons why, when you look at it, uh, you know, I do travel, you know, very often uh, to various areas, you know, where I can give a talk, uh, you know, sometimes inside Nigeria, sometimes outside, uh, you know, Nigeria, just tell them that, hey, look, all this thing is a myth, nothing is impossible, we can really make it happen, we as Africans, we can actually, you know, the issue is that, first of all, we have to understand that there are, I mean, in all the countries in the world, whether it's South Korea, Japan, US, those economies were actually built up by their own indigenous. So if we don't lead in Africa... And agriculture was the basis of the development of many of these countries. Pardon me? Agriculture was well, the basis of the development of many countries. Yeah, many of these countries. It's not backward, as people think. 